And now is the time for questions. So please, um, you can send through the questions in the chat, or if you prefer, you can open your camera, turn on your microphone and ask away and let us know who you want to ask the question to. Hey, I apologize. This might be very rudimentary, uh, but I joined really, really late. It's uh, I'm on Singapore time, so it's 3 a.m. for me. So I missed about the first half an hour. But question wow. for you, would you have a recording for this that I can go and backtrack and listen to again? Yes, yes, uh, we are recording this and I will be sharing it with you tomorrow. You, you will all be receiving an email with the recording of the webinar. So uh, I understand if you have to go to bed, go ahead and tomorrow you can, you can uh, relax and, and look at it. All right, excellent, thank you. Not to hog, hog the limelight, but just a following question to that. I'm sure when I listen to this tomorrow, I'll have a whole bunch of questions. Is there someone or a contact I can reach out to at that, at that time? Yes, of course, you can contact admissions. The email address will be on the email itself, or you can actually reply to the email, and they will be happy to answer all of the questions that you have. Well, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. You are welcome. Okay, other questions. I think um, we have lots of questions here in, in the chat. Let's see, don't be shy. If you need to ask something, you can do so now. If not, uh, you can speak to our uh, admissions team. Um, let's see, we have here a question from Charles Sibel. Nice to meet you. PhD portfolio or all online and no face-to-face -face meetings? No, um, SSBR delivers everything online. So we are an online business school. That does not mean that we don't have um, face-to-face -face meeting. So as I was explaining before, you will have a live sessions with your supervisors, with your PhD mentors, with your PhD supervisors, and you can have one-to-one -one, uh, meetings, or you can, you can join the live webinars, which are scheduled more or less every two to three weeks per program. Um, where you can connect with your supervisor live and others, other classmates of yours will also be connecting live and you can ask any questions that you have, whether it's about the assignment or something that you're stuck on or anything like that. You will always be able to connect live to, to your mentors um, at any given time. Are there any other questions? Okay, I see that lots of you have been asking uh, Dr. Abel and Dr. Anthony questions and that they have been answering you. If there are any questions that have not gone answered, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save these this chat and I will have admissions reach out to you via email. If not, we can take two more minutes uh, of questions uh, or we can just uh, call it a night. Any more questions? Okay, let's see. Uh, we have here, say something about the, can I say something about the leadership decision making and et cetera in the program? So uh, this is part of the PhD by portfolio, but uh, it is true that you are the one that choose the, you are the one that chooses the topic in which you are going to focus on. So you can also focus on leadership um, in your, if you decide to go the DBA route, or if you decide to go the PhD doctorate of philosophy and management route. Related to the PhD by portfolio, uh, like I said, each module is uh, specific to a topic that is related to your, to your research topic. The leadership decision-making, this is aspects that you will cover in the assignments that we ask you to to write. So you have a number of assignments which build your thesis and the assignments grow in size. So first you'll start off with assignments that are 1500 words, then you will continue with assignments that are 3000, then others that are 6000, etc. The uh, There are assignments that are devoted to decision making in which you are to read a number of resources about decision making and you have to then reflect upon that 
based on a number of uh, guidelines and questions in the instructions, and then uh, you answer in your assignment. The same thing with leadership. Uh, there's also aspects that discuss uh, integrity or how you have managed in, and led a, an assignment from start to finish, etc. Another question that we have here, is it somehow possible to quantify the approx weekly workload? Um, it's not possible, unfortunately, because um, it will depend on your research assignment, on your research topic, of course, and it will also depend on um, which program you end up choosing. Um, Dr. Mellon, um, since you are the director of research, can you give a little bit more insight into how we can say or quantify a prox workload for the three programs? <clears throat> I, I would really say that it's impossible. I mean, I think in terms of if I give you a number, uh, then you could come back and say, well, it's more or less or whatever. I mean, it really is, it's going to be a significant part of your life for as long as you are on the program. If you think you can squeeze it into half an hour a week, then it's just not going to work. So you have to be motivated and you have to be able to create the time. And uh, it's impossible for us to quantify um, the amount of time that you would have to, to spend on it. But it would be a significant part of your life for the duration of the program. Actually, uh, if you can stay on with us, because I see that this next question you can answer as well. During the VIVA defense, do we need to be physically present as we want to do dual PhD? Um, the, uh, there's no need to be physically present. As uh, Laura has said several times, it's an online school. So the, the final uh, examination of your work would be done via Zoom or some other online platform. Now I see that we have a question about the PhD by portfolio. So the question says, what body of work comprises a portfolio, academic journals or non-academic research? In the PhD by portfolio, it's work that you have done previously. And since it's a uh, PhD program designed for professionals who have decades of experience under their belt, it does not have to be academic. You don't have to be published in an academic journal in order to be eligible for a PhD by portfolio. What you're going to do is the PhD by portfolio is designed in a way that you bring together all of your experience, those decades of experience, you provide evidence of the work that you have done. And there's a number of uh, different kinds of evidence that can be accepted like PowerPoint presentations, business proposals, um, business presentations, et cetera. That's going to be presented as evidence to provide or to prove that you actually have done that work and you do have that experience. But no, you don't have to worry about whether or not you've been published in academic journals because that's not necessary for uh, the PhD by portfolio program. Um, other questions. Is it possible to start the PhD by portfolio on any date? Uh, like I said before, the intake is, uh, we don't have set intake dates. We do have uh, start dates that are basically every three weeks, more or less. So the next intake date is happening now in October. So you can start uh, now in October. If you prefer to start a little bit later, then you can you can uh, be part of the November intake. It's not a problem because we don't have anything set in stone. Um, what other questions do we have? If one has worked in many companies, can one relate the assignments from one company to the other or necessarily in one area of one's profession. You can do across all the different uh, job experiences that you've had as long as you relate it always back to the topic at hand. So I may have worked, for example, um, myself personally, I've worked in the pharmaceutical industry, I've worked in the retail industry, then I set up my own business in the wedding industry, and now I'm in the education industry. Um, I can bring together all of those industries and all of that work experience and related to, for example, uh, leadership. And so I can talk about the leadership aspect of my different jobs in these different industries. That's not a problem at all. Um, I think that's all of the questions here. So I see that a number of you have been having issues getting through to admissions. 
don't worry because I will I will uh, reach out to them now and make sure that they get back to all of you. Uh, tomorrow, you will have the recording in your email inbox together with the presentation that we've showed you and also a certificate of attendance. If any of you have any other questions, you can feel free to reach out. You can also uh, reach out to us on LinkedIn. I shared Dr. Orizu's uh, LinkedIn profile URL as well as Dr. Karn's profile URL. So you can also reach out to them. I'm sure they won't have any issues getting back to you. Um, Thank you again, and thank you so much for taking the time to connect with us live. I hope that this has been an insightful and productive uh, session, and I hope to see you all in graduation uh, at some point. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Thanks very much indeed. Good luck to whatever big desires to do. Thank you very much.